coming up on this edition of Southwest TV News. In Swift Current, concerned residents took to the streets armed with signs, drums, and even a donkey, marching up Central Avenue to the office of Swift Current's MLA and the Premier of Saskatchewan. This is the time of the year when many are busy cleaning out garages, grain bins, or cabins. And along with the dust and other debris is a concern for fecal matter from deer mice. The roadways are meant to be safe for everyone, whether you're out for a casual walk, bike ride, or out in a motor vehicle. Thanks for joining us here today. Concerned residents showed their support for local libraries during a special event here in Swift Current. We have more in today's top story. The recent announcement of the provincial budget was full of disappointing news for various sectors, including funding cuts to libraries across Saskatchewan. A loss of crucial funding, which does not sit well with local residents and patrons of the library system. In Swift Current, concerned residents took to the streets armed with signs, drums and even a donkey, marching up Central Avenue to the office of Swift Current's MLA and the Premier of Saskatchewan. One by one, participants voiced their concerns over the cuts to Saskatchewan's libraries. The Chinook Regional Library Board is um, working very hard right now and kind of in a very difficult position to try and figure out how we will maintain library services with a 58% cut to provincial funding that's retroactive to January 1st. We had no warning of these cuts and we're asking the government to restore funding to Saskatchewan's public library systems in order to save the really excellent library system we have in Saskatchewan that's admired across the country. And with 32 branches within the Chinook Regional Library System here in the Southwest, its services are crucial to local residents of all ages and walks of life. It hits everybody. I drove 120, friend and I drove 120 kilometers this morning one way to be part of this group because I think it is so important. Saskatchewan libraries have provided a link to all the knowledge in the world in a concrete form for the people of Saskatchewan for over a hundred years. And the idea that that is going to be taken away from us with no warning and with no real reason is frightening. Overall changes to the library system across the province, which the youth are voicing their concerns for as well. There's a lot of youth in there who they depend on the computers, the printers and all the books and stuff like that, you know, and um, I think I think if, you know, libraries were to start closing down, it would have a huge negative impact on uh, youth in terms of education. And with over 250 protesters in Swift Current alone on the same day as similar rallies were held across the province, organizers continue to encourage local residents to show their support for their community library through petitions and other forms of communication to their local MLA. And I think these 58% cuts to Saskatchewan's public library system are really false economy. There is, it's going to cost our communities so much more in the long term than the government is saving on these cuts. Approximately 100 individuals are employed in the Southwest through the Chinook Regional Library System. For over 12 years, Southwest TV News has provided the visuals for the defining moments in our community. Support your community and help us to continue our work. Support our sponsors by watching the ads on YouTube and by clicking the ads on our website. Pennies per click, which will help us continue to bring you the award-winning news coverage you've come to expect from Southwest TV News. As you get ready to clean out your grain bins or garage this spring, health officials are reminding you to protect yourself from the hantavirus. This is the time of the year when many are busy cleaning out garages, grain bins or cabins. And along with the dust and other debris is a concern for fecal matter from deer mice. 
Hantavirus is a rare but serious illness spread through rodent urine, saliva, or feces. And before you start cleaning any empty building, here's a few precautions to take. First is the ventilation. Um, it's always important to ensure as much ventilation in the place that's going to be cleaned as possible because the less the ventilation, the more likely those particles during cleaning will, will come up to be easily absorbed or inhaled. The other thing is avoiding anything like dry cleaning, um, i.e. using wet methods, wet mopping methods. Um, the final thing is, of course, making sure you put on the appropriate protection, um, using rubber or plastic gloves, uh, wearing uh, um, proper um, and well-fitting N95 type filter masks when cleaning areas that are definitely contaminated or seriously contaminated. So those are the three sort of broad um, things to keep in mind. And, you know, when you're using the wet mopping or the wet cleaning methods, it's uh, pretty important to use a bleach disinfectant because that will definitely um, kill, kill the, the virus. Hantavirus is not spread from person to person or from pets to humans. It can only be spread by direct inhalation of contaminated dust that contains the virus and may result in symptoms such as fever, muscle aches, cough, headaches, nausea, and vomiting. But the key thing with the, the hantavirus pulmonary syndrome is the shortness of breath and the cough. So if, if you've been cleaning out or exposed to a place that had mouse droppings and, and you develop these symptoms within the next few days or even a couple of weeks afterwards, definitely check with your doctor. Between 1994 and 2015, there have been 30 cases of hantavirus pulmonary syndrome reported in Saskatchewan, 10 of which have resulted in death. Market Square is a summer tradition in downtown Swift Current. And organizers are now searching for entertainers food vendors, and artisans to be part of the excitement for the upcoming season. Contact Marlene today at 750-7888 and spend your Saturdays in downtown Swift Current this summer. Market Square, proudly presented by the City of Swift Current, Standard Motors, Innovation Credit Union, and Southwest TV News. With the arrival of warmer weather, more people are outdoors walking and cycling. And once again, pedestrian and traffic safety is in the spotlight. The roadways are meant to be safe for everyone, whether you're out for a casual walk, bike ride, or out in a motor vehicle. And as the days get longer and warmer in the coming weeks, more individuals will be out enjoying the leisure of the outdoors. Yeah, with the motoring public, uh, we just like them to be aware of uh, kids on their pedal bikes. Uh, now that the warmer weather's upon us and the snow's all gone and, and puddles are disappearing, uh, we're seeing more and more kids out on their bikes. Uh, those kids having not maybe been out for six months aren't necessarily um, up to speed on the way they should be riding their bicycles around parks and, and parked vehicles. So just as long as the public can be a little more extra aware um, of those potential possibilities and as well um, being aware of those guys that are out on their motorcycles uh, enjoying this warmer weather. Uh, the roads haven't been uh, completely cleaned off yet so riding those bikes are sometimes like riding on marbles or trying to walk on marbles. Um, so just give them a little bit of extra distance. You know, we always try to preach the, the three second rule when you're following a motorcycle. If you're back three seconds from them, um, that's usually a safe distance uh, because they can move and maneuver a lot faster than a car. So that'll give the average driver the opportunity to react to anything they may do. And if you're planning an evening walk or a bike ride, make sure you're visible to oncoming traffic. For kids on pedal bikes, people riding motorcycles and pedestrians that are out running or, or enjoying the evening walk, um, wear something that's going to be reflective. Uh, if you're at night time, or a bright color clothing uh, during the day so that the motoring public can see you. Pedestrians and cyclists are further reminded to always ensure it's safe to cross the street. Make eye contact with the driver of the vehicle to ensure they've seen you and they know your intention to make your way through the crosswalk. According to the latest stats from SGI, 15 pedestrians, one cyclist and four motorcyclists were killed in Saskatchewan collisions with 536 injuries reported in 2015. Henry Richard, uh, 
Kovo, Russo, all those guys that had played. He faced off against Pocket Rocket Richard. Rocket Richard, he was the referee for the game. Our line scored a goal. It was just boom. It was loud. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a lot of good times. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across Southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at southwesttvnews.com. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews. Thank <laughs> you.